If a car park breaks, this one won't. Taken from your grandfather's car and still performing amazingly, that's the carbon ceramic brake disc. Other than being expensive, it has no flaws. The only downside is that I'm too poor to afford it. Carbon fibers and thermoplastic resin scraps are used. The machine fills the lower half of an aluminum mold. Only half is filled to insert aluminum cores into the mold's holes. These holes are essential for better heat dissipation of the brake disc. Once the cores are in place, the mold moves to the next filling station to fill the remaining space. Workers cover the mold and use a press to compact the carbon fiber mixture. Then a larger press applies 20 tons of pressure and releases heat at 200 degrees Celsius, fusing the loose scraps together. The pressed brake disc is then cooled with cold water, and the mold is removed. The carbon ceramic brake disc is taken out, but it's not strong enough yet. It needs to be baked for 48 hours in an oven, with the temperature gradually increasing.